What's going on? We back with the Boxing Clinic and more. Y'all knew we do more than boxing. And uh, just FYI, I'm going to do another intro for the channel just strictly for, you know, um, off boxing type videos, man, for my NBA, in the field videos. Yes, we do talk more than boxing. We do, uh, you know, uplifting videos, politics, um, you know, all types of things, man. And check out our growing playlist that grow every day. Music, entertainment, NFL, NBA, women's boxing, MMA, golf. I mean, just check them out. It's truly amazing. And don't forget, uh, don't forget to check out our podcast. Links in the description as well. And we're gonna be putting together some NBA live stream real soon. We know the preseason in full effect. And um, now they did these these votings, whatever. I'm not gonna like harp on each voting, but you know what player would you have? You want to have right now? You know, uh, for the future. You know, equating in the age and all the other stuff. You know, they have an that vote. LeBron, you know, most GMs saying LeBron the best leader. I don't believe that to be true. I don't even think LeBron is a great leader. Okay. You know, certain things leaders don't do. But I am a Lakers supporter from Detroit. I'm a Detroit Pistons fan first. And I love the Lakers for reasons that I can get into another day. Shout out to Magic Johnson from the mid as well. Um, but, you know, talking about, we're going to talk about LeBron a little bit. And talk about KD and also um, some rising stars in the NBA, okay? Um, obviously, everybody want to entrench LeBron as the best player in the NBA. They said what he did in Cleveland. That's fine. I don't believe he's the best player. I, I still believe Kevin Durant is the best player in my opinion, okay? But I won't argue with you about LeBron. Um, I understand, you know, he does a lot of things. But I think Kevin Durant, what he brings to the defensive side of the floor, thus, you know, right now in his prime, you know, it's no shame to be second best to to Kevin Durant. All right, Durant plays both ends of the floor. He's a he's a big shot taker, big shot maker. They asked, you know, what's the one category he won? One guy you want to take a big shot in a big moment? It's Kevin Durant. He did it twice on Cleveland Cavaliers floor. Okay, um, he is a better defender at this point than LeBron is, no doubt about it. He's a better offensive player than LeBron is, other than maybe passing the ball, but in my opinion, he is a better fit, you know, you know, well, for his team. He's a better fit. See, LeBron needs to be ball dominant. Kevin Durant is actually more versatile and more different offense. See, when LeBron comes to your team, you know, he's going to be the point guard, the point forward. All the offense is going to run through LeBron. Kevin Durant showed he can go to Golden State, fit right on in. And keep and don't hold the ball up. Don't stop the flow of the offense. You could plug him in and fit in. He could do many, many different things. And that's what people overlook. See, people don't want to admit that when you got the Colin Farrell, Harold, Herd, whatever. He's a clown. They don't they don't really tell you the whole story because maybe they don't know shit about basketball. Okay? The reason why I didn't really work in Miami where him and Wade and Bosch was able to flow and get their front sway the right way is because everything went through LeBron. When Chris Bosh was on Toronto, see, a lot of people didn't see Toronto play. I've seen a few Toronto, a lot of Toronto games, especially when Chris Bosh went against Dwight Howard. Chris Bosh was top five big man probably, okay? And probably had the most ability of anybody besides Dwight Howard. We just talk about physicality and skills. But in, in Dwayne Wade, we know what he was. Some people think in 06 he was the best player in the league. Uh, I agree. You know, if that's the year he won the NBA Finals. I agree. Um, but... When LeBron went to the Heat and they all went there, it was a meshing period for a couple years because LeBron James wanted to control the offense. Nobody said, okay, LeBron, we want you to play off the ball, let Chalmers handle the ball, let Wade handle the ball. They would take turns handling the ball, staggering eight minutes, because the offense has to go to LeBron. LeBron has to pad his stats. That's what it seemed like. That's what I believe it is, or whatever the situation may be. Okay? What Kevin Durant is, you know, when he got out of that OKC offense, when he, even when he was with OKC, he didn't mind moving the ball, getting assists, but he was asked to be an assassin scorer. When he went to Golden State, you seen a better defender because they kept him happy. You seen a, a dude that could facilitate. You seen a dude that could rebound better. It wasn't the fact that he went there and it was a powerhouse team, okay? That's, that's not the fact of the matter. The fact of the matter was, he didn't hold they off they offense. He didn't he helped their defense. He fit right on in. Okay, does he not have some of the abilities that, that LeBron has? Yeah. Where LeBron can make everybody better, but LeBron doesn't have offensive versatility. He doesn't know how to say, okay, Rondo, 
handle the ball, I'm going to play off the ball, I'm going to play through the post. Durant does all of that. And that's what they won't tell you. And Durant is a better player on the other end. LeBron, Durant on Golden State is a two-way player. Durant can lock you up and get buckets and get blocks. And you wouldn't expect that from a guy in his 15, 16 year, whatever LeBron is. Okay? But I understand where people say he's the best player in the world because nobody's been doing this as long as he's been playing. 15, 16, whatever years he's been in the league, he's still playing at this level. He's still in great shape. You got to respect that. Okay? I respect that. I will not argue about who's the best, but I will argue we see the LeBron or Kevin Durant right now. Okay? And if I was building a team for the next five years, I'm taking Kevin Durant over anybody in the league right now. Okay? Easily. Kawhi Leonard, he's a good player, but let's see him outside the San Antonio system. Greek Freak, he can't even get his team outside the first round. Okay? And Giannis is a good player, you know? But I think he's overrated. And when I say overrated, I'm not shaming him. I think the media and the fans and everybody else overrates him. But if you actually sit and watch him play, he has a lot of holes in his game. Okay? He could be a better defender. He can be a better rebounder, a little bit tougher. He's a good rebounder, but he can be a little bit tougher on the boards. He put more weight on. He got to become a better mid-range shooter. He can become a better post player. He can become a better three-point shooter, okay? And he can become more durable. A lot of times, he can injure to take games off. And then when he gets injured, Eric Bledsoe, okay, Chris Middleton had the best games of their life. So as far as him handling the ball, being the point forward like LeBron, when he's not there, okay, when he's not there, his compadres have better games. So that's telling me that he is not ultimately the greatest team player neither. Even though he handled the ball, he makes sure everybody involved. But Middleton and, and Bledsoe tend to have their best games when LeBron is not there. I mean, when Giannis is not there. And they got to fix that. And Milwaukee needs a bruiser. They need somebody that can, be in, that can play the paint play in the paint and get those rebounds. That's not Giannis' concern. They can use better shooters. Okay? They can. It's not Giannis' fault. Giannis is very, 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 very young. Okay? Very, very young. But I don't think, I don't even think he probably, he could probably be the best player in the league. Don't get me wrong. But will he ever be on the level Kevin Durant is now? That's tough. It could be. He can never develop into the shooter Kevin Durant is or the post player Kevin Durant is or the defender Kevin Durant is at this point. Kevin Durant right now is in his prime, and that's a fact. So Giannis ain't even hit his prime, but right now, I like Kevin Durant. People tell me how great Anthony Davis is and how good Anthony Davis is and, and this and that, but Anthony Davis can't even touch his toes without being out for two months. Durability. Availability is the best ability. He's not available, so how can I count on him to be the cornerstone of my franchise for the next five years is to say hypothetically that's what they ask. And he's never never healthy. And when he's healthy, who I mean, what are the, the Pelicans doing? Drew Holiday has emerged. Rondo was good for them last year. And when DeMarcus Cousin was playing with Anthony Davis, they wasn't winning. They was putting up monster numbers. They was performing versus the Golden State Warriors because that was a great matchup for them. But they really wasn't doing he wasn't doing much. But down the stretch when Cousins left, he was doing pretty good, but every time he get to rolling, the injury comes. Okay? You know, his availability. And then, when has he ever played winning ball? Y'all can say, this ain't around him, that ain't around him. We well, had the ability to leave New Orleans. He he didn't have to sign that extension he just signed out too long ago. He felt that they was all the way up, all the way on the way up. And they possibly could be. They got some good players over there. I like Drew Holiday. His wife got it back together and some other players that got over there. But... You know, people consistently tell me how, you know, he could be the best player in the league or he's a top five. How are you a top five player in the league? And I don't think he played a full 82 game season. He just got out the first round last year. And I'm going to put it to you in perspective like this, man. And I, this may be a separate video in its own, but I, I get to the part that may be a separate video in its own. Anthony Davis is a good player. But when Shaquille O'Neal, Hakeem Olajuwon, Patrick Ewing came into the league, okay? They had immediate impacts on the Rockets, even though Hakeem had Ralph Sampson. They had immediate impact on on the on the on on, on the Knicks. Hakeem Patrick Ewing, immediate impact. Okay, they had an immediate impact on that team. Shaq, Orlando was the worst team in the league. Shaquille O'Neal went to the Orlando Magic. They damn near uh won made the playoffs, 
And they went from like 18, 17, 20 wins to 42 or 43 type of wins. That's the type of impact when I'm telling you one of, uh, that a great, potential great big man have. Anthony Davis on his second contract, and he has not had that impact yet. Okay? David Robinson, Tim Duncan to the Spurs. Big impact. Anthony Davis is not even in that stratosphere of them as far as what he's done accomplished. Does he pass the eye test? He could post up. He could shoot. He could dribble. Yes. But is he playing winning ball? He hasn't even had the impact that Ewan had the first couple years with the, with the Knicks. Or with Shaquille O'Neal, immediate impact that he had with the Orlando Magic. But you want to know why? This is the part that I might make into its own separate video. Because people tell me, and I talk about the Pistons on my other page. I got another uh, four specs. You want to uh, follow it? Pistons, Lions, everything Detroit. Motor City Sports Talk. Motor City Sports Talk. That's the part. That's the uh, page. You got a blue lion as the logo, okay? These guys don't play through the post no more, okay? And especially for Anthony Davis, Carl Anthony Towns, DeMarcus Cousins, people think it's oh, it's that's the old school 1999, 89 way of basketball. No, it's not. It's so vital to play through the post right now because you got Draymond Green playing the five. Because you imagine Draymond Green having a matchup versus Shaq. Barbecue chicken every time. If Anthony Davis plays through the post, bro, and then did like Ewan and then when they bring double teams, pass out the double team, his team open for the three. You will still get those good three-pointers, but you're getting two points, everything, all the time off the block. And then he can go out there like you and the duck and hit the 10, 15-footer. Then you can do a pick and roll. He can roll, pop, and then shoot the three. He'll still get three-pointing tips, but he'd be so dominant on the inside that these dudes will have to go out there and find a formidable five that can walk and chew bubblegum. If Carl Anthony Towns played through the post, could nobody guard him? Davis, nobody guard him. Look at Jokic. When he on the post, he gets his most assists. He's his most dominant. The post play changes everything, especially when you don't have, a, every team don't have a, a formidable five. It's no reason Carl Anthony Towns shouldn't be getting 20, 30, and 20, 15. Anthony Davis should be getting 30 and 15 a night. Would Draymond Green guard you? With Draymond Green guarding you, bro? Like, come on, man. Enos Kanter guarding you, Gus. You know, oh, my God. It's some of these centers in the league that don't even deserve to even. They wouldn't even be playing a five when, when Shaq and them dudes play, man. And I put that on everything I love, man. For real. It should be a domination in the interior, man. And that will open up a lot of things, man. But like I said, man, Kevin Durant, in my opinion, is still the guy I want to build my team around in the future. He too talented. Uh, he played both sides of the, of, the, of the court. He's very, very durable. I still think LeBron, you can make a case that he's still the king. He's still that guy. Does he have a tough task going against the Golden State Warriors every year? Fuck yeah. He got a tough task, you know. But the difference is this. Even when Golden State had all those players with Durant was there the first year. The issue, and I'm in on this, the issue for the Cavaliers was Kevin Durant. I mean, Kevin Love wasn't a lockdown defender. LeBron wasn't a lockdown defender. Neither, neither was Kyrie for the Cavaliers. And when they said Jordan couldn't do this, no. Jordan and the Bulls would have a good chance to beat anybody because Pippen, Rodman, Jordan was three of the most locked down defenders. They locked down their position, so that gives them a, a chance. Remember, Houston, they played good defense versus Golden State last year and had a chance. So, you know, people just don't know shit about basketball, but y'all know what it is. It's the Boston Clinic and more. I might do one more basketball video today, man. Uh, let me know how you guys like it. Definitely appreciate it. More basketball live streams coming. I did them last season. We're going to get into them this season. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All those links into the description. If you want to make a donation, the PayPal link is in the link uh, description as well. Or you can wait to our NBA live stream and donate through the Super Chat. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to the LDBC Lions Dance basketball community. And also check out Hoosa.